It is such a rainy day today. <laughs> it's just been showering on and off, really heavy at times. Um, but we're going out in it anyway. So I am parked at Lidford Gorge. So it's just this little loop, basically. It's owned by the National Trust and there's some waterfalls. There's the Devil's Cauldron, just a really nice river. I don't know a huge amount about this loop, as in the historical significance of it, but the National Trust own it, so it must be important. Uh, so I'm going to get kitted up just for a, the rain and we will go have a wander around Lidford Gorge. <laughs> Why are we not going there? <laughs> oh. Right, we are under the trees and it is raining in case you haven't been able to pick that up from the last section of footage. It's so lovely being in the woods when it's raining. I'm not at all worried. The only thing I'm slightly concerned about is I basically have an hour to get around this three and a bit mile loop, which is not a problem, but obviously I want to be able to take my time and immerse myself in the forest. But we're here and that's the start. So let's go and have a look around and find out just what it is that makes this place so special. Wow, look at the size of this tree. It's absolutely huge, really big trunk here and it's so gnarled the bark is really interesting anyway let's keep moving headed up the steps come on son you can do it i believe in you <laughs> really really enjoying this it's so wonderful to be in the forest in conditions like this. Well, the sun has actually started to come out. I can see blue skies there through breaks in the canopy. The water you see falling around me is just dripping off the leaves. But it's so sensory. I can hear the river down below, the streams I've been crossing, the puddles as I splash my feet in them, and of course the water dripping all around. And then there's the birds. I've heard blackbirds and robins and wrens, and I think I even heard a jay. I might have startled it and it flew off. It's so nice to just have this space to come to and just breathe and fully absorb. And I think there's something deep down within us all that craves a little bit of forest time. It felt so good to be surrounded by native deciduous trees, like oak and hazel, birch and holly. And every surface seemed to be coated with thick, hairy moss, or played host to striking ferns. A hint at the gorge's prehistoric story, which began 370 million years ago. Nice muddy stairs here. <laughs> See what I mean by splashing in the puddles, splashing in the puddles. Oh no, I have holes in my boots. Mistake. <laughs> Let's just be honest, I'm still a child. I don't think I'm ever going to grow up. I love getting muddy, I love getting wet, I love collecting leaves and stones and feathers and rocks and fossils. I mean, my room is basically just a natural history museum. Wow, look at that sunshine. That is blazing through the trees there. Lighting the way, <laughs> blinding my eyes. Couldn't be happier. <laughs> Take that off. Put that on and we always no matter what the weather got to have sunglasses because they encourage the sun to come out you know it's all about the optimism so i like to think anyway oh wow look at this waterfall just shooting down there oh my goodness it goes right the way up wow <laughs> Just frothing white with the force and the power. And then tumbling down to the river below. <laughs> it's 
so beautiful, the rich greens. And a third one, all within like 10 meters. Fantastic, look, absolutely love it. Oh, that's just the best sound. Not great when you need a toilet, but otherwise, just love it. Looks like we're going up. We've got a few steps here. I'll get the legs working a little bit. One, two, three, four. 39, 40, 41, 42. Canopy. Wow, that's pretty cool. We're really right up there in the trees now. Brilliant. Wow, look at this. Woo. Now we're talking. I crossed over countless streams and falls, all cascading down to the river lid below, until eventually the path followed suit. Long and easy, or short and steep. Don't know about you, but I quite fancy short and steep. It's going to be slippy as well. Add another S to that. <laughs> Here we go. can see we go here and then there and then there and then there and so on check this out white lady waterfall oh my goodness me what nearly 30 meters high it's a good day to be here we have had a lot of heavy rain and you can see just how forceful the water is coming down there. Breathtaking. The falls were an outstanding sight to behold, an aggressive mixture of white water and spray, creating a rainforest-like environment all around. Alone as I was, I felt lost in time and completely captivated by the scene. So we've come down from there, so now we need to basically follow the river all the way, all the way, all the way, and we can cut straight up if we want to, but I would like to go here because there's some interesting things down this end of the gorge. So, across the bridge we go. Woo! See if it's wobbly. Oh, a little bit. Oh wow, look at this path just cut into the rock side. It's pretty gnarly. Love it. The path undulated up and down between practically being in the river itself to climbing higher up the rock face with great views of the trail ahead. Listen to that deep roar. It's all bubbling up there. That must be quite deep. Wow. There really were very few words to sum up the experience I was having. I felt utterly alive with every fall I passed by, eyeing up the twists and turns of the river and the smooth rocks that had been eroded by thousands of years of tumbling water. I had to stop myself from staring into the pools as their surfaces bubbled and writhed in an almost artistic pattern. Through the little tunnel. <laughs> Whoa, see how high the river is? The path is almost consumed by it. <laughs> ah, we joined a more mellow stretch along the river much calmer, not as noisy and angry. It's very humid, a bit of a sweat on. <laughs> oh, I've got to admit though, I find the time of my life here. It might not be particularly long or particularly strenuous, but this route has so much to offer. It's so stimulating and exciting. 
And it's quite rare that you can follow a sort of chiseled out stone path right next to a roaring river. I mean, one slip and you're in there, let's be honest. Can't fight against the force of that. Oh. But as well as the river, of course, we're in the forest. And if I just stop talking for a minute, I mean, it's purely natural sound. And that is what I was alluding to earlier when I was saying, I think we all deep down have a desire for this peace and this space and this quiet, for reflection, for mindfulness, for deep breathing, whatever it is, for creativity and inspiration. I mean, for me, certainly, I just feel so much calmer when I'm away from the noise of technology and the hustle and bustle of day-to-day -day life. I think it's really important that we take the time to carve in time for breathing and quiet and reflection, all those things we just mentioned, because they just do us so much good. Just to find some calm for a short period of time and then we can get on our way again, revived, refreshed and ready to go. What does this say? Way out, tea shop and WC, we don't want that. That is what we want. This way. Got some non-native trees there. Pines growing up. Can you hear that? Oh gosh, I hope you can hear that. So exciting. Known what to expect of the cauldron, but it was a dramatic feature and incredible to find myself so close to the water in such a deep and dark gorge. The walls around me dripped endlessly. It was easy to see where the name came from. Well, that was something else. Just so dramatic. We're just walking alongside the Devil's Cauldron now. Can't quite see it. Maybe in a minute. Oh, there it is. I continued along the stony path under a road bridge and alongside the river to my final destination for the day, Tucker's Pool. Oh, dead end. <laughs> Never mind. We've arrived at this little pool here. You can see the path originally carried on up there, but this seems to be it. I think this is Tucker's Pool. So this is the last sort of key point on this three and a bit mile walk. It'd be quite nice to swim in on a much sunnier, less strong river day. So anyway, that's it, the end. The end of our little adventure. So it's just about a quarter of a mile back up to the start where we began our walk through the visitor center and then I'm back at the car, simple as that. So I just wanted to share this little amble with you because I mean, I think it's great. It's so accessible and as I say, exciting, dramatic, great for kids and families. And you get pools like that, look, beautiful. But it's, it's very artistic, it's creative as well. If you've got the eye for it, being able to look at the rock and seeing how it's sculpted and shaped by hundreds and thousands of years of water just driving past relentlessly. It's beautiful, of course, as well. Time in nature is time well spent. So guys, I'm gonna head back to the car, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this little amble around Lidford Gorge. Enjoy your next adventure and stay wild.